fear into fascination, one post at a time. At least that's what one North Texan is trying to do. As Kaylee O'Kelly shows us tonight, his mission makes him this week's Texan with character. His childlike fascination of searching. It's a baby uh, Texas spiny. Check him out. I know it's not a snake, but that's still pretty cool. For reptiles is still intact. Nice long tail. Another difference is no. Oops. Uh, sorry, dude. But Mark Pyle keeps an eye out for the snakes most of us are afraid of. Now he's fake biking. He's trying to make me leave him alone. He sees beauty and purpose in this common garter snake. If he wanted to bite, he definitely could have bit me right there. And this water snake, commonly mistaken as a cotton mouth. And eventually he'll completely calm down. You know, quit moving. Once he realizes I'm not really going to hurt him. You could call him a snake whisperer. Pyle's fascination started when he was only 12 years old in Granbury. Catching snakes in his yard. The only thing I have to worry about with snake would be the, the venomous snakes. And in North Texas, we only have a handful of, of venomous snakes. See, they travel in pairs, Tim. I told you. His inspiration to ease fears through education yeah, came three years ago when he started noticing more pictures of dead snakes on social media. They would put it on there, either ask for an idea or say, Look what I killed. You know, just look at this big snake or look at this copperhead I killed. Well, I started seeing these and realizing, oh, that's not a copperhead. That's just a rat snake. So he started a Facebook page that's become quite popular. It's called What Kind of Snake Is This, North Texas? The true meaning of the group. Just help people. And I'm realizing that that's going to help snakes eventually, too, once people understand, learn, and realize they're not the monsters that they're, they're been, been not vilified as being. Okay, I've got a coach whip. Got my foot right over top of his hole. Let's see what he's going to do. And now? More than 28,000 curious people are posting pictures, videos, and questions about snakes. All he's trying to do is get that hole. Pyle and his team who run the page are great about responding fast to help identify them. Pyle says he doesn't judge people who kill snakes. In fact, he understands why. They're going to make their own decision. I'm not going to be there to make that decision for them. So I decided just to educate people. He just hopes his group can bring snake haters and lovers together on the same page. Kaylee O'Kelly, CBS 11 News. You gonna call?